Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Taylor Grace cookies. I have the chocolate and vanilla cookie cakes. And I have the birthday cookie cakes. These were $3.99 each at Meyer. They were uh, they were up in the, uh, the bakery area. So they had some of these cookies on display out on a table. And then they had some in like a like a refrigerated section, uh, but these two were both in the refrigerated section. But I don't think they needed to be refrigerated because the other ones are the exact same kind of cookies. They're just different flavors. I think they just were keeping them cold. So in this package, you get two uh, two cookies. I'm just gonna grab you two. You have three of the. Uh, okay. vanilla cookie cakes uh, and then you have three uh, six of the chocolate cookie cakes. There's the vanilla one and it has chocolate in the middle. So that's fudge frosting. So you have a vanilla cookie with fudge frosting and then the other one is going to be a chocolate cookie with buttercream frosting. And what the chocolate on? One cookie is 31 grams. It's 130 calories for each cookie. The texture of that when I was cutting it mm -hmm. was very spongy, almost like a Twinkie. Um, yes, I can see that. It does have a, a Twinkie. Um, back kind of texture. When Twinkies were better, I do have to add that. Because nowadays, I think Twinkies are rubbery and I don't like Twinkies. They're even worse. I don't like them at all. They've always been rubbery. They're even worse. They're, they're really, really, really rubbery now. This does have that texture. But it's not like it's it's not that rubbery. spongy is the best right. word for them. Here's the chocolate one. You can go ahead. I'm hoping it has a really sweet buttercream flavor because mm -hmm. I love like a buttercream mm -hmm. frosting. I like the um, the texture of the chocolate one. Mm, that's um, good. It's okay. It it does not uh, the it doesn't taste like what we are used to buttercream mm. tasting like. Very rich, sweet, grainy even from the sugar. You're right. That's what I'm expecting when I yes. have buttercream. Even my homemade buttercream, that's what it tastes right. like. Right. That tastes it's good. Yeah, it's just like it, a vanilla but frosting. But it tastes like vanilla frosting. It does not taste like the buttercream that you would get at the bakery. Yeah. Those are okay. They're kind of I think they're kind of plain. Um, I think I like these. There's nothing wrong with There's them. There's nothing wrong with them. I just think the flavors. Are I think quiet. these would be good to buy for um, for a party where you don't know what people oh, yeah. like. Yeah, maybe they want a lighter flavor. Exactly, uh, because in a previous video, hopefully you watched it of Taylor Grace Cookies, we reviewed the lemon and the cherry yeah. chocolate. And see, both of those were better than that. Yes. Flavor -wise. But both of those are very specific flavors. So yeah, you never know, if you don't know your audience, you don't know, okay, are they gonna like lemon? Are they gonna like cherry chocolate? Because the cherry chocolate was really cherry, but it was delicious. Um, now this is the birthday, and this is vanilla buttercream. But now Ooh. we know their buttercream is really just vanilla. Ooh. Do you see the purple, oh, purple and pink? I love pink. that. Yeah, I love cool. how festive it is. Now these are 140 calories each. And this uh, company is in Massachusetts. Um, Hold that up and I'll see the side. Manufactured by Boston's Best Cookies in Massachusetts. It's www.taylorgracecookies.com. But when, what do you want me to hold up? Hold it up, thanks. So when you go to taylorgracecookies.com, because I went there last night to see if, um, what all they had, um, or at the time of this filming, it said something like something good is coming. So nothing is on their website as the, as of the time of this filming. That, is more what I'm used to buttercream based on life. Not quite as sweet, but there is some bitterness though from the dyes, I think. Yes. You taste it too? I got it too. Yeah. So, color, uh, food colorings don't affect me as much as they do Kevin. Yeah, so if you're tasting it. But I'm tasting it too. <laughs> 
Yes, normally they really bother him. Like when 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 bakeries use blacks or greens and blues, reds, blues and blues their, in their frostings, it really it can tank the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Makes it bitter. And this it really does affect it. Yeah, but that t the texture is a little bit more like the buttercream I'm used to. It has like that little bit thicker, sugary kind of yes, texture. Yes, it's kind of a grainy yeah. texture. In a good way. Um, I like those if it wasn't for all the dyes. Um, I would pass on those. Yeah. Um, I this would, one's out. I like it. the dyes kill it though. Yes, they, they, really, they do. really do. Yeah, I would. And, and, and the, if that's a shame because a lot of people will go to Meyer and they'll just buy the birthday because birthday is really popular. It's mm -hmm. very, very festive. And if they don't like these, they might not try any of the other ones, mm -hmm. which is a shame because the best two were in the other video yeah the lemon and the, the lemon and the chocolate they cherry were, really were fantastic and these are really good don't get me wrong the chocolate and the vanilla the ones are yeah. good they're just plainer they're, they are plainer um so for us if you if you see them at meyer and you like lemon or chocolate cherry get those yeah, leave, leave the birthday i know they're pretty they're very fun to look at they're just happy to look at but I don't think they're going to give you the flavor that you want yeah. because of the dyes. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.